In this video, we're going to look at a legal problem called squares of a stored array. So a given array of integer nums stored in non-decreasing order return an array of the squares of each number sorted in non-decreasing order. So you can see we have an integer array, and after we square all the values, it will, it will become like this. And after we sort all the values, right, it will become like this. And this is what we're going to return at the end. So you can see we also have another function, like another example like this, where we have uh, example array like this and we basically square all the values and after we square all the values we will sort all the values in the array and it becomes like this right so you can see that in the constraints we are guaranteed to have at least one element in the array and then we could have negative and positive values in the array right and also the array is sorted in non-decreasing order basically means ascending order right so how can we be able to solve this problem well there's there's a couple of ways we can be able to do this, right? One way is we can be able to use sorting, right? Which basically means that we basically just square all the values and then we use um, sorting, right? Sorting algorithm, arrays.sort, uh, basically give us a n log n time complexity. But if we want to do this problem using a big O of n time complexity to solve this problem, what we can do is we can use pointers, right? We can use two pointers to solve this problem because you can see here the array is sorted. So there's a couple of ways we can use pointers to solve this problem. One way we, is that we can be able to use a pointer starting from the middle and working our way out, right? So in this case, once we find, because we know that the smallest value is always at the middle, right? Or the smallest value is could be, right? Once we find the smallest value, we can work our way out, right? So let's say, for example, negative four, one, negative one, zero, three and 10, right? Once we find a smallest value in the array, which is here, right? We're gonna have our left pointer and our right pointer right here. And what's gonna happen is that we're gonna have our array. So this is our return array. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna compare to see if the current pointer, who has the smallest value, right? In this case, zero, right? So we add zero onto the array, right? The square value of zero is zero. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna move one pointer, one to the left, right? So we have here, and then in this case, um, move both pointers, one to the right, right? One to the left, and the other one is one to the right. So we compare to see who has the smallest value, right? So negative one square value is basically one. Three square value is basically nine, right? So in this case, one has the smallest, so we add one on there. And then we move the pointer, right? One to the, one to the left, right? So we have negative four, negative four square value is 16, right? And then here you can see the, the square value of this value right here is uh, nine, right? So in this case, nine is smaller, so we add nine onto it. So then what's gonna happen is that we're gonna move this pointer one to the right. So in this case, we have 10, 10 square value, a square value of 10 is 100. So 16 is less than 100, so we have 16 here. And then you can see here, the left pointers go out of bound, right? And then what we're gonna do is that um, we're just going to continue to um, expand or in this case move the right pointer one to the right so we add all the values on the right on the right side onto the, the array so we have 100 right so we add 100 let's say we have another value for example 11 right in this case we just add the square value of 11 right which is 1 121 onto the um, onto the the result array right so that's basically what we're going to return at the end. So that's one way we can do it, right? And if we look at how we can do this in code, we basically first find the smallest value in the array. Once we find a smallest value in the array, or in this case, a value, right, that's uh, bigger than or equal to zero, right? If it's bigger than or equal, to, the first element that's bigger than or equal to zero, then we break, we found the smallest value, and then we have going to have our pointers, right? So the pointers, the left pointer, the right pointer, um, and then we're going to have our re return array, result array that we're going to return at the end. We're also going to have our index. So in this case, because we're going to have the left pointer expand to the left side and the right pointer expand on the right side. So we're going to say the left is, is bigger than or equal to zero and the right is less than or equal to n minus one. Then we continue to expand, right? So we basically compare who has the smallest value. If the current element has the smallest value, we basically just going to assign that element's value onto the array, right? And then we move the pointer one to the right or one to the left. At the end, we wanna make sure we basically um, getting all the values, right? So let's say one, 
let's say the left pointer is out of bound, but the right is not. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna continue to expand on the right side, right? If the right pointer is out of bound, the left pointer is not, we're gonna continue to expand on the left side, right? To get all the elements onto the, onto the array, right? So that's one way we can do it. So basically this way is going to go from the center, right? The center, or in this case, the smallest value, um, expand out, right? It's from, from, the small, uh, from the small value to the, to the largest value, right? So that's how one way we can do it. The other way we can do is we can be able to use the other way of approach, right? So let's say we have negative four, negative one, zero, two, and five, right? So in this case, what we can do is we can just have our pointers here. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna square this value. So this square this value 16, square this value is 25. And we compare to see who has the smallest, uh, who, has the, who has the largest value, right? In this case, 25. So we add it at the end of the array, right? So in this case, we're gonna have an array with size of five, right? So one, two, three, four, and five, right? So you can see this is 25. So this we're gonna add it onto the last element in the array. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move the pointer one to the left because in this case, we already add this element onto it. So now we have two, square root of value of two is four. So in this case, 16 is bigger, so we're gonna add 16 onto it. And then we move the pointer one to the left. So square root value of one is one, right? So four is bigger, so we add four onto it. And then what we're gonna do is that we're just going to, um, sorry, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the this pointer right here, one to the left, right? So now we have zero, square root value of zero, zero. So one is bigger, so we add one onto it. And then now we have one pointing to this, this uh, basically this element right here. And then basically you can see zero is uh, is what we have left. So in this case, uh, we just add zero onto the array, right? So basically you can see this is how we um, do this in code, right? We're gonna have our result array that we are going to return at the end. So in this case, we're gonna have an index that basically starts at the last element in the array, right? We're gonna have our left and our right pointer and it's basically size of the array. Um, what we're gonna do is that while index right because we're going from the last element to the first element so while index is bigger than or equal to zero right what we're going to do is that we're going to get the left element right the left num right the left square value and the right square value sorry the left square value and the right square value and then what we're going to do is that we're going to see if the right square value is actually bigger than the left square value if it is then we're going to add the right square value onto the current position the array and then we decrease the uh, the right pointer, the right pointer, right? We move the right pointer one to the left. Otherwise, if the left element, left square value is bigger than or equal to the right the right square value, right? For example, in this case, if the left element, right? In this case, they're both point to the same thing, right? If left num is bigger than or equal to the right num, then we're just going to get the the left increased by one, right? We're just going to get result at index. We we basically uh, assign the, the left element onto the left square value onto the current element in the array, right? And at the end, we're just returning the result array. So you can see both algorithm um, do the same thing, right? We're basically just going to traverse the array differently. We, one is that we're going from the small element to the big element, right? And the other one is we can go from big elements to the small element. Um, so the time complexity for this one is all they go of n, where n is time, where n is the number of items that we have in the array, and the space complexity is big O of one, where one a big O of one, which basically we're using pointers, right? So it's constant space complexity. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.